Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is a very important episode, a very important release on my channel. Episode 1 of Mega Feedback. My now recurring episodic series where you, the fans, can give feedback that I'll forward to Mega themselves. This is also just a great way for you guys to feel heard. I want you all to feel like you're a big part of this community, like we are one beating organ here. And the best way of doing that is choosing topics per episode and discussing them and hopefully being able to send some feedback directly to Mega and help improve both this community and the upcoming releases of Mega Constructs. About a week ago, I asked you guys to submit feedback on what sets you want Mega to produce. And I've collated all of my favorites from both Discord and the comments section of my videos. There were so many dope responses. I've chosen some of my favorites and then put them into subcategories and we're gonna break them all down one by one today. Also, Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how you can be involved in episode two of Mega Feedback. The first one is the topic I had the most comments from. I've only pulled a few of the responses. There were just so many. It's the flood. I would love a new flood set or just flood in general. I think this speaks for the majority of the community. It's been so many years since we've got flood sets and it's just, it's just time to bring them back, right? It's the absolute perfect time. With 2022 being the first release of the Halo Universe line for Mega Constructs, it seems poignant, it seems like the right moment to re-release the Flood. And there are just so many pictures on screen, so many nostalgic sets that I've had in the past. I've collected the entire Flood wave and I'm just ready for more, right? The Floodgate, probably my all-time favorite Flood set, but there are just so many dope releases. Last year, Mega ran the first ever MCX fan vote where we could vote for a figure to be produced in the Mega line. The Flood Combat Form was one of the selections, but unfortunately it didn't win. I don't think that's game over for this line though. As we've seen in the past with the original Halo Fest fan choice winner, all three of these sets we could vote on and only one was produced, but the other two were still eventually released in some capacity. So I don't think it's out of the question that Mega, I mean, they purposefully put the combat form in that vote. I think it's coming again soon. We had it in the Clash on the Ring blind bags last and even a piece of Flood tentacle was in the new escape helmet, which proves that this, you know, it's still in production to some capacity. I saw a lot of comments asking for a proto grave mind, which is actually a really great idea. I hadn't thought of it until now, but it does seem like something we could get. Mega loves releasing old school sets and combat evolved, as I just showed you in the Clash on the Ring blind bags has been released recently. Commander Keys was in Halo Heroes a while ago and kind of came with a bit of flood tentacle, but it would be a great idea to have some kind of CCS battle cruiser with a floodified Jacob Keys. We had a micro cruiser quite recently, again in the Clash on the Ring blind bag, so clearly it's on Mega's mind. And the proto grave mind is such an iconic moment from Halo Combat Evolved. I would absolutely love to see a full version of this. I want to see some Halo 3 sets. Some more flood would be awesome and a banished scarab would be crazy. Yeah, just more flood guys, like let's make it happen. I say ramp up the pressure and make Mega know that we are really ready for a new Flood wave. And an admin on my Discord, The Rookie, suggested some new platoon packs, which somebody commented, why not make one for the Flood? A perfect idea. We had the Marine platoon pack released last year, basically the best army builder we've ever seen, particularly for just one unit, right? Just the UNSC. And then this year we got the Banished Garrison pack, also a really dope release. They were both in the same kind of wave, price point and packaging. Maybe we could get a Flood version. I would love to see a Flood set or a Halo 3 set with a Hornet versus is some brutes and an anti-air wraith. This got me thinking, right? We have had three releases of the Hornet so far. Oh, and also a red Hornet, I guess. But the most recent one was based on Halo 3. If we were to release this again with an anti-air wraith, that would be really dope. There has been a fan call out for an anti-air wraith ever since Halo 3. It also came out in Halo 5 Guardians and Mega just missed the mark. We've still never seen one. Ideas number two is Battlescapes. I was really surprised after my last video that everybody wanted to see the return of Battlescapes. You know me, if there's one thing I've been campaigning for over the last few years, it's for Mega to release more diorama set pieces, particularly like the old school Battlescapes. Like these were, it's such a nostalgic part of my childhood. I used to collect these and they were, they used to be able to fit my entire collection on before I, you know, went off the deep end and bought everything. But I would love 
to see the return of Battlescapes. I'm going to display all the Battlescapes so far right now. We got the first one. When this came out, I just thought it was the most amazing thing. It was my first Mongoose as well, and probably my first CQB figure. The customization was dope. The sticker detailing was really on point, and you could put loads of them together. Battlescape 2 introduced the Flood, like this was another bang up Flood set. And then the third one, wow, it's like pretty much the only time we've ever seen Sentinels. Like, just think about that. Where are all the Sentinels in Mega Constructs, especially with their return in Halo Infinite. I'm really wondering why Mega has not utilized the Sentinels and the Enforcers more. Our Lord and Savior Gavin on Discord put it perfectly. One big thing Mega misses out on is their environment. I think there would be big bucks in better environment work. Sets only have figures and vehicles, but a set with a focus on terrain would likely sell really well. Could tie into a UNSC Firebase or something of the sort, similar to the old Firebase set that was cancelled. I'm happy you brought it up, Gavin. There was a Mega Block Halo set with a beautiful firebase that was cancelled. And <laughs> just look at this thing. A vampire troop transport and cyclops with all those turrets. Like, that is a dream if we could get something like that. Fussiest Hydra recommended a last resort set from Halo 3, which I would really love to see. And Noble Six Originals. Make a set. Rain, trees, bushes, detailing, turrets, plants, rocks, etc. It's perfect, man. We need to make it happen. And Kev, along with a lot of other people, said they want to see an FOB, which is something that I sort of suggested in my previous video and something I'm going to double down on now. A FOB would be the perfect release for a Halo Infinite set later this year. And I'm still thinking we might get one. It's a likely release that Mega could push for in their fall 2022 line, right? FOBs are a massive part of Halo Infinite, if not a little weird. Like, I don't really understand how they work. Like, if the Banished saw that the UNSC had captured one of these, they just bombed them from orbit. But still, I would like to see an FOB in Mega. Idea category number three is general fan requests. These are just loads of different sets that you, the fans, have asked for. Alongside an FOB, this is something that would resonate with infinite fans, a spire. With the weapon gathering data, the observer, and a weaponized drone, maybe with some skimmers as well. The spire is a dominant location in infinite, a very iconic forerunner structure, so let's bring it to mega. Slacker Productions, I'd love to see a blood gulch type set for capture the flag red and blue troopers. While... For the price point, we'd only probably get one of these bases. You could obviously just buy two, and it would be really dope to get two, maybe three red, two, maybe three blue, maybe even a scorpion tank as well. The Sightless Blood said a possible set vote. He would love to see the AA Wraith, Grizzly Tank, a Shadow Transport set, or a Pillar of Autumn. And a few people did actually suggest Pillar of Autumns, which surprised me. It wasn't on my radar, but it does actually make sense, you know? It's the iconic, it's the original, it's the OG ship, and it's the very first thing that any Halo fan sees when they boot up Combat Evolved, i.e. the first game. So a Pillar of Autumn would make sense to me. Whether or not we would actually see it is another question. I don't know if Mega wants to make such a massive ship. Uh, I don't actually know how well the ships from the Signature Build series actually sell. You know, they're very limited to stores. The Forward Unto Dawn was an iconic piece at the time, but then somehow I feel like the Infinity didn't sell as well. So I'm not sure if they'd make that, but it is something that I would like to see for sure. Bucketman22 was not alone with suggesting that we need to get a mainline release Grizzly tank, which is kind of crazy that we've never got an official one, right? Like the Grizzly is a very iconic tank. It would be very easy for Mega to make. I imagine they already have the pieces. We've seen uh, the Rhino of quite a while ago now and a few Scorpions. That's the Scorpion Sting and the customizable Scorpion came out recently, but no official Grizzly. Honestly, man, I would love to see a blister back. John Policeman, aka Cloaker, I agree with you there. A blister back would be a dope addition. Because it wasn't in Infinite, I'm not sure if we're going to see it anytime soon. Mega probably didn't want to release something like that and confuse leaks of potential new vehicles in Infinite. And Christina had a great idea here. We need a heretic faction pack or maybe a heretic ghost. A heretic ghost is something I could definitely see Mega releasing soon. Like this is a dope looking color and a heretic banshee. Man, wouldn't it be great if we were getting that in an upcoming set, right? Surprise, we are it's the Arbiter's Quest, right? And this is a set that's coming out within the next few weeks. So it does make sense to me that Mega might double down on the Heretic releases. They already have the Gold Heretic in production, so maybe a Ghost is coming soon. I'd like to see the Gravemind or Mega bring back the old Halo 2 Marine mold. Yes, 
A Grave Mind has probably been in the top five requested mega sets ever, right? In the last 12 years. People want a Grave Mind so badly. For me, obviously, you know, it would cost so much to make that mold for Mega. It's not like making a tiny weapon, it's making an entire fleshed out Grave Mind, which might be difficult. So I think a Proto Grave Mind is more likely, but it would still be dope. I'm gonna go hard on the next request. This is from Ark, and he's recommending an Arctic Warthog. The Arctic line from Mega is one of my favorite things they've ever done. This is the last in the mainline release of Battlescapes, the Snowbound Battlescape. And the cool thing about this was all the releases at the time were called Snowbound. It was like one big set. Snowbound is a very iconic map from Halo 3, one we've all played. We had combat units, we had armory packs, we had so much from that line. I love the snow effect on the boot, still some of my favorite ever, and we had the Arctic Snowbound Warthog versus Ghost. And yes, I know what you're thinking, we have had the Arctic CTF Warthog recently, but it hits so much harder when it's a full wave of sets. So I would love to see an Arctic theme coming very soon. Although this video is meant to be talking about sets, I did want to include some of the figure requests we've got from the community. There were so many, but I added a few here. Oscar would love to see a Spirit of Fire pack with Anders Forge, Captain Cutter, Serena, Isabel, and Red Team. That would be so insane. Halo 2, some Prophets, some Brute Honor Guards, Tartarus, Halo Heroes, Alice, Kurtz, Samuel Jaeger. So many dope suggestions there. Really good. And this is something I've talked about a lot. We need re-releases of Alpha 9 right now. It's so crazy how much it costs to complete a full set of Alpha 9. They were released all across the board, all different years, most of them only a single release. Dutch and Mickey are particularly the most expensive right now, and it's just unfair, you know? I don't want to stand by and listen to all my friends, my fans on Discord complaining that they can never complete a full set of Alpha 9 because they can't convince their parents to spend a few hundred dollars on six figures, right? So let's re-release Alpha 9 right now. I wanted to finish today with an incredible comment from Honeycut, uh, V07, something like that. He suggested so many great set ideas that I recommend you pausing this video and checking each of them out. The commitment to sending feedback for this video is much appreciated, so I wanted to share his whole thing. Set titles like Halo, Bumblebee Escape Pod 4 and a Dreadnought and Coastal Highway, they're all all really exceptional set ideas, and yes, we really do need a Horagok figure right now. Folks, that pretty much concludes episode one of Mega Feedback, and I really do hope you enjoyed yourselves today. This is going to be an episodic event. I want to cover a load of different topics, and I hope every one of these videos will get to Mega themselves. This was another video with the domain, and if you did enjoy this video, please do make sure to like and comment down below with your ideas for the next video. We're going to be doing this all the time and the next topic is blind bags. So I want you to comment down below with A, what is your favorite blind bag? B, do you think chase figures should return? C, what's your favorite figure from a blind bag? And what is your ideal blind bag for the future? As always guys, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there and join us tomorrow for our 117th video straight. 117 days of uploads, it's gonna be a great video. So see you then, the domain is signing off. Thank you.